Hey, what's up? So, it's late, and, well, it's not late, late, but, you know, um, and there's something that really wants me to talk about, um, just some stuff that happened you know, over the summer, um, I was hanging out with someone, and, They deal with like a lot of like, um, I don't even know if you can explain this, but pretty much I have the Lord's Mysteries, like, um, gift of the discernment of spirits. And so pretty much I can, you know, like, feel out the room, feel out what's going on, you know, what people may be carrying. Um, really don't like talking about it, because it's just like, uh, but, um, I feel like there's something he wants me to talk about. Um, but pretty much, I get it so sensitive, like, I can feel like, it kind of feels like, I am feeling, I can pick up what other people are carrying it so strong that it feels like I'm carrying that and I'm walking with that and you know not because I know not um but before a couple of years ago like I never knew anything about that and then, like all of a sudden I just feel weird and all the time I feel like I'm bound with all this different junk and I'm like oh my gosh what's going on there was nothing wrong. I was just picking up what someone else was carrying. And I realized that because, like, I'd be in certain places that I wouldn't feel anything, but then I'd be in other places and I just feel, like, so heavy and, like, and just have all this junk and just a mixture of all those different things that I never I don't carry or I used to carry. And it's just really weird. But anyway, over the summer, I was hanging out with someone who obviously carry a lot of, a lot of stuff, and like, and for some reason I thought it was me who was carrying it, and I ended up doing some things that I probably sh that I definitely shouldn't have done, um, I ended up actually destroying probably a hundred dollars plus worth of software that I need. situation, instead of walking with faith, I was walking with fear, and I let fear drive me to do something that I wasn't supposed to do, which was destroy a lot of software that I needed for um, one of my channels, and it was dumb. And in this of it, I felt like Lord was telling me, no, okay, first of all, I did it because I felt like he wanted me to destroy it. Because I was, you know, lost, I don't even know what was going on. And I feel like it, that stuff would have lifted if I destroyed the software. And, but it didn't. And then I ended up calling a friend, and he talked me down, and... He explained to me what was really going on, I didn't know what was going on, and then in this I realized, oh my gosh, I destroyed so, pretty much the sins. I destroyed my sins. <sighs> but anyway, the point is, is that as believers, we're, we're meant to walk by faith. We're meant to walk by faith. We're not meant to walk in fear. That's what it says. That his perfect love casts out all fear. When we receive his perfect love, all the fear dissipates. It goes away. It also says that he's not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind. 
He's not giving us fear, but he's giving us power, love, and sound mind. But when we walk in fear, that's when we are powerless, we are loveless, and we have no sound mind. We are doing things. We end up walking in the flesh when we should be walking in faith. It says to walk by faith, not by sight. To lean not on your own understandings. And though that happened, you know, it helped me walk in faith and strengthen the spirit man and quench the flesh man, the old man. Still need software. Yeah. Love, peace, and hair grease. No, my shoe, no. No, my shoe, no.